So hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tailwind CSS in vanilla HTML, CSS and JavaScript as well as using Vite. So let's dive right in. So first of all, what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how we can do it in VS Code. So like I already have index.html and script.js. So index.html, I'll just use the basic boilerplate for every HTML file that I use and we'll uh, add some text inside of that that is going to be our tailwind css i mean let's let's do hello tailwind css all right after that what i'm going to do is we are going to go to tailwind website and go to their documentation and we're going to see how they tell us to actually install tailwind css we will go to the tailwindcss.com link is in the description by the way we will click on get started and go to play cdn because we are going to use cdn for vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I'm just going to copy this script from here and paste it inside of our HTML tag. I mean, inside of our head in HTML. Now that is done, I'm actually going to import our script as well because it's going to be helpful, obviously. So I'm going to do that. I'll set the type to module and I made a spelling mistakes there. So set the type to module and I'll also put the source to like done. So I have now imported my JavaScript file as well. Next, what we are going to do is I'm going to set up the configuration for Tailwind CSS inside my script.js. So for that, I'll just open up the script.js. And now here we will set up the configuration for Tailwind CSS in our script file. So I'll just scroll down here and we can see we have Tailwind config and a lot of objects inside of that. So either you can use the script tag in your HTML file or you can create a separate script tag script file just like me. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy this and paste this inside of my script. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how we can use it inside of it. But before that, let us check this actually works or not. So for that, I'm going to remove this colors for now because I don't need this uh, color. You can also add other uh, specific custom classes inside of this using the extend or theme feature, you can check more information inside of the documentations. So I'll, I'll just go back to index.html and I'll add some classes to this H1 like text hyphen seven XL. What it does is actually it increases the font size of the text. So I'll just go live server and we will see, does it actually work? Yeah, it does actually work. And we, I'll also add a color, let's go for Let's go ahead and change our text color, uh, change the text color as well for this. So I'll add text blue and uh, it doesn't work like this. I'll have to tell how much darker I want the color. So I'll go with 700 for now. And as we can see, like the text is now blue in color. We can also change font and other stuff. You can obviously go ahead and check the Tailwind CSS documentation that you will get more info, get more information regarding the same stuff. So next, what I'm going to do is we are going to use Vite and install Tailwind CSS inside of that. But before that, I'll actually have to create a Vite project. So for that, I'll just open up my PowerShell and go ahead and type in PM init at the rate uh, Vite at the rate latest. So I'm just going to do, go ahead and do that and press enter. After that, I will have to name my project. So for that, I'm going to name it uh, hello for now and select vanilla and JavaScript over here. After that, I will have to go inside of my project and do npm install for installing the basic dependencies that comes with Vite. And after that, we can simply go to Tailwind CSS and again, we will go to the get started and we will land on this page. And here we will have to select this time framework guides. Either you can select this or you can go with using post CSS. This will also work. But for now, I will just go ahead and select framework guides and click on Vite. So the first things first, I have already created the project. We just did that. So we are going to skip to step two and go ahead and paste these two commands in our PowerShell and press enter. The first command, what it does is it actually installs Tailwind CSS, post CSS and auto prefixer. And the next one initializes all of them. So now that is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin up our Vite server using npm run dev. After that, we can simply go ahead and open the folder. And inside of that, we can see tailwind config.js and post CSS config.js. We don't need to touch uh, post config.js. So 
we'll just leave it at that and configure tailwind config dots js so for that i'm going to actually go ahead and go inside of content and we, here we will have to let tailwind know that i have my html and javascript file inside of this specific folder for that we will use quotations and go ahead and do for uh, dot forward slash so it represents the root directory the same directory in which the tailwind config file is there and then i'm going to use asterisk to select everything that has extension of html or javascript and i will just save this after this we have to go inside style.css and add tailwind directives inside of that so for that i'll just go to style.css and clear everything from here and go back to tailwind css website and we will we actually did this step so i'll i'll skip this one as well in step 4 we have these directives i will copy them and paste them inside of style.css and now we don't need this file we can just close it and go back to index.html so this is my older one i'll close it as well and yeah so here we are this index.html is provided by wheat so inside of this we are going to import our uh, css file so for that i'll just go ahead and do link and we will import it right over here after doing this i'm going to clear main.js because it's going to interfere in our work and counter.js these are mind you this are the default files that are provided by wheat so we don't need their stuff so i'm just going to remove them and we can come back to index.html and right here we can type hello tailwind uh, tailwind css and save it we can go back here and go to localhost colon 5173 and here we can see this is the default text that we have that we can see obviously so next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add a class few classes and check if the tailwind configuration works or not for that i'm going to go ahead and type class and inside of that i'm going to go ahead and do text blue and we will do 700 again and i'm going to go for text uh this time actually let's go for uh, 9xl because it's very big so here we can see we have our tailwind css working inside of wheat as well so if you learned something new don't forget to hit that like button share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more notifications i'm bhavish padal and i'm signing